In these problems, we're being asked to add three different fractions together. And I guess the way that I would go about this is maybe add two together and then try to add the last one to it. So I'm going to try that. What I notice here is I don't have the same number on the bottom. I don't have common denominators. So I've got to fix that. And usually you fix that by multiplying one or both of them by some version of one so that you get the same thing on the bottom. In this case, I have one-sixth and one-fifth. I think I'm going to multiply the one-sixth by five over five and the one-fifth by six over six. And what I did was just stole that number from the other fraction. And when I do that, I get five times six on the bottom, five times six on the bottom. They'll be common denominators. Let's do the multiplication. Here I have five times one on the top and five times six on the bottom, so that's five over 30. And here I have one times six on the top and five times six on the bottom, so that's six over 30. And adding those together is pretty easy. That's 11 thirtieths. Now I still have to add this one third in, so plus one third to get common denominators here, I think I can just multiply this 3 by 10 to get 30. So the version of 1 I'm going to multiply this fraction by over here is 10 over 10. Now I do the multiplication. I've got 1 times 10 is 10. 3 times 10 is 30. So I've got 11 thirtieths plus 10 thirtieths, and that is 21 thirtieths. And I might be done, but I should check, can I reduce this fraction? Can it be simpler than it is? And looking at these, I think the top and the bottom can each be divided by 3. 3 times 7 is 21. So let's divide that by 3. And 30 divided by 3 would be 10. So this is, in its lowest terms, 7 tenths. All right, let's try one more. This one's just slightly complicated by the fact that we have a mixed number here. And I think the first thing I'm going to do is turn this into an improper fraction. And to do that, you take the, the number here, the integer, and you multiply it by the bottom. So 1 times 4 is 4, and then you add that to the top. So plus 4. And I get 1 and 1 fourth is 5 fourths. So this is really 1 sixth plus 5 fourths. And I'm going to leave that 3 eighths off for a minute. I'm, I'm going to make common denominators on these two first, and then I'll try to add that third one in. So let's see. Um, I think, in this case, I'm just going to go for 24. I'm going to multiply this one by 4 over 4, and this one by 6 over 6. I could have gone for 12. I could have multiplied this one by 3 over 3, and this one by 2 over 2. But I decided to just do it this way, because it's easy enough, and I think I'm going to have to go to 24 for that last one anyway. I was kind of looking ahead. Let's do the multiplication. 4 times 1 is 4, over 4 times 6 is 24, and 5 times 6 is 30 over 24. So we have 4 plus 30, 34 twenty-fourths. And I'm going to add the 3 eighths here, but before I add it in, I think I'm going to go ahead and multiply that by uh, 3 over 3, because 3 times 8 is 24. And then I will get 9 across the top and 24 on the bottom. So this is really 9 twenty-fourths. I can add that here. 34 twenty-fourths plus 9 twenty-fourths, that's 43 twenty-fourths. Now this is an improper fraction. I can take 24 twenty-fourths out of there. And if I do that, I'm left with, so that 24 twenty-fourths is 1, and then I'm left with 19 twenty-fourths. And I don't think I can divide the top and the bottom by anything in common here, so I think this is already as simple as I can make it. So that would be my answer, 1 and 19 twenty-fourths. So that's a little bit of work with adding three fractions together. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.